Hey guys, MC Will here with a new video and welcome to episode 5 of Lone Wolf Leveling. A leveling series where I set myself a bunch of extra challenges to make it a little harder. Back here on Tari Wow with my little enhancement shaman. And uh, we're going to start off in Tarn Mill. And the reason for that is we have mail. And I want to see if the stuff I put in the auction house actually sold. So we're going to do that first. And then we're going to go back to Arathi Highlands to do a bunch of quests there. But let's see if we made any money. Okay, so there is a bunch of stuff that was expired, unfortunately. But also a bunch of stuff that I sold. So, yeah, let's gather everything. I have 217 gold, 18 silver, and 81 copper now. And right now I'm sitting on, look at that, 586 gold, 62 silver, and 29 copper. Not too shabby, if you ask me. So there you go. That is uh, the money I was able to collect. We're going to put the stuff up in the auction house a little later than loan. All right, here we are in Arathi Highlands. First off, we're going to start off with the uh, first blood quest. Then we're moving on to clearing the highlands. And then we're going to do a bunch of quests here. And then we'll see where we go from there. Now, these mobs used to be uh, stealth all around here from like uh, vanilla to, I think, it's wrath. And uh, Oh, there's actually a few. I was looking for them and I thought, oh, there's no one here yet. They probably changed this to where they're only visible. But uh, no, there's still a few stealthers around. Oh, and a 386 earth shock. Not too bad. Admittedly, my Storm Strike is now the biggest hitter. Look at that with a 313 hit. Oh, and there we go. Level 27. Nice. Do I get anything new? No, I don't think I do. All right. But that's another level and three more levels until I get Wind Fury. Nice. Three more. It's interesting that these mobs don't run away anymore. Um... I'm not sure if that's uh, bugged or it's just the way it is in Kata because I remember these mobs being an absolute pain in the ass, um, you know, pre-Cataclysm where they get low health and they run away like crazy and then they pull more and it's just, you know, <laughs> definitely had some bad times leveling here with all these. And, uh, it's definitely more easy now. It's a little less interesting because it's less dangerous. I have to, you know, I can just kill these, don't have to worry about them running or anything. It's kind of convenient, I guess. Oh, and look at that. A 671 Storm Strike. It's her biggest hit so far. But yeah, it's it's kind of making it easy to level now. Oh my god. Two crits in a row. Wow. You can see a 599 uh, Storm Strike followed by a Earth Shock crit and the mob is almost dead. And there we go. 10 out of 10. That is our first quest completed for today. And we're going to move on to killing some ogres. And I think this is actually a really nice quest for me because I have mining. And I think in this like little uh, cave here, I should be able to have a decent amount of uh, nodes. But let's see if that's the case. Okay, so I did find one so far. But it's outside. But hey, I don't mind. Inside, outside. It's good. Ooh, if I can reach it, though. Let's see here. Can I? Can I? Can I even get this? Oh, there we go. Perfect. See how much I get. 242. Okay, a little bit of extra bonus. And there's one inside, so yeah. Without further ado, let's kill some ogres. Now, this enrage mechanic that these ogres have in, uh, I believe it's just vanilla, I think in TBC they kind of nerfed it, was actually really, really strong. I mean, they would lose, like, a lot of speed, so you'd be able to kite them around. But if you would stand in melee range and you would let them enrage, they would just hit you for, like, two to 300, which, you know, at level 30 in Classic is a lot, so... I actually remember dying to these like once or twice because I just I saw that I saw that went to rage and I was like ah whatever and then I didn't realize how hard they were hitting me so but here it's not too bad I mean they're still hitting me for like 107 so a crit would be 200 so that's not nothing but definitely not as much as uh, the old days oh and look at that we got some dervish bracers of agility replacing oh nice one intellect bracers. There we go. Oh, that's a good amount of attack power and a nice little extra crit. I'll take it. Alright, that's 10 out of 10 enforcers. Now we just uh, gotta get 7 ogres out of the way and this quest will be done as well. I decided to make a quick stop here in the Undercity because I was rolling around with a bunch of 6 slot bags. And considering I made a good amount of money, I decided to just buy some white 14 slot bags. Nothing crazy. Uh, but just so I have a little bit more space for uh, mining and skinning materials. So, a little bit of a detour, but I think it's well worth it. Because look at that, we have way more space now. So, let's hand in those quests. Oh yeah, nice. Level 28. And that means... Let's see, where is it? Chain Lightning. Nice. Not really going to use it a lot, but still. 
And two more levels away from Wind Fury. Oh, nice. And look at those. New pants. Not a huge upgrade, but still. I'll take that. Absolutely. And wow, look at that. Level 29. That is impressive. That's a lot of experience from those quests. Awesome. Just one more level. And let's start off with the first one, which is uh, five sigil fragments. Pretty easy. All we got to do is kill these uh, human players, or human NPCs here, excuse me. And uh, they'll drop those uh, sigil fragments. We just got to kill them until we have five, and then we'll move on to killing the ogres. Which is, uh, again, the place where I where we killed Oracular. Oh, and there we go. Five out of five. That was quick. Wow. All right, that's done. Okay, now these shamans and lords are like way in the back there. So we first have to carve our way. Carve a path through these ogres and these trolls. And then we'll finally get to those quest mobs. I want a 420 earth shock. Nice. And a 404. Yeah, earth shock definitely starting to slap. Look at a 659 storm strike. Yeah, we're doing some damage. So I gotta watch out here because these ogres... I mean, the Enrage is less than in Classic and TBC, of course, like I said. But still, man, you got, I gotta watch out. Still gotta have to uh, keep in mind that I'm not wearing full heirlooms and crazy stuff like that. So I, I should not get too uh, over-encouraged, especially when I have my Wind Fury. You still gotta watch out. Okay, here we are. First up, the Shamans. Yeah, you can cast Lightning Bolt. I got Wind Shear. I'll just block that. Oh, look at that. We have a Mithril Deposit, but that's behind the wall. Hmm, tempting. So I don't know what level Mithril is. You know what, screw it. When we're done here, we'll have a quick look and see if that's actually worth uh, getting. I have also no idea how expensive Mithril is, but uh, yeah, I'll try. Alright, 7 out of 7. Excellent. Now, let's see if I can uh, just run through here. Yeah, I should be fine. Just don't dismount. Nice, perfect. And let's check out that uh, Mithril deposit real quick before we hand in these quests. Alright, there it is. And, ah, it's red. I can't loot it. Very unfortunate. But, oh well, at least we checked. Okay, here we are. Nice, 7,260 experience. Let's see, we can get a lurking belt... Yeah, that's the best one we have. This one, I mean, it's intellect crit. I prefer to get this one, the lurking belt. Yes. And we're almost level 30. We got one quest here to kill Lieutenant Valorcall, which is uh, a guy that's patrolling here. So let's do that. Lieutenant Valorcall, of course, being non-elite in this version, way back in Classic, it was uh, elite, guarded by a bunch of others. So you actually needed, to, uh, you know, at least three, preferably a full group of people to kill him. But then again, the whole this whole area, Strong Guard was elite in Classic, and then they and made them not elite, I think, in late TBC Wrath, and then now it's, of course, a bit of a cakewalk. Um, which is exactly why we're doing low move leveling, of course, to make it a little harder for ourselves, more interesting, and uh, give these items a little bit more meaning when you get them. Oh, there he is. Nice. You see, normally he would have an entire group of people around him, but here he's just alone. So I don't know whether those guys win, but I'm happy it's just him. He does have a decent amount of HP though, though <laughs> he's getting melted. So yeah, I don't expect any trouble here. Nice, perfect. And that means we are now high enough level to enter the Hinterlands and do some quests there, because we're level 30. And we're gonna get Wind Fury. Dude, I can't wait for this. Alright, Gallant Trollbane, yes we have your sigil. And we might be able to do that quest, but... Man, level 30. Here we go. Let's see. Where is it? Oh, wait. It's here, of course. The weapon enchantments. And then Wind Fury. <laughs> oh, and Totemic Recall. Also kind of nice. Let's see. Where is that? Oh, yeah, here. I'm going to put that on T. T for Totemic Recall. That's always how I did it. All right. Let's see how much I can do with Wind Fury. Now I'm curious. Oh, nice. Look at that. Shaman Friend is now working. That's a 510 Wind Fury. So now I'm able to track... The total damage that Wind Fury does, that's kind of cool. Oh, and look at that, a double crit Wind Fury with 721 damage. The definitely new record. Yeah, Wind Fury slaps. Loving it. 
Oh, and of course, now that I have level 30, I can choose my next talent, which I think... I'm going to use, yeah, I'm going to use Earth Grab Totem. I think that's very good for when I'm low health and I want to make a run for it. And then I can use that to uh, kind of get out of there. So let me just put that on uh, Shift Y. Why not? Okay, so I'm uh, coming to the end of this episode. The only thing I'm going to do now is just go to uh, Reven Tusk Village right here to get the flight path. And then we'll fly to the other city and uh, repost some of my auctions that were expired, as well as some other stuff I gathered throughout this episode that I also want to sell. And of course, next episode, we'll see if I actually made some good money again. But for now, we got quite a journey ahead of us, starting through this uh, very long tunnel. Of course, this tunnel pre-Cata wasn't here. Before, you actually had to go, as a horde at least, go to uh, Tarmil, and then there was a passage here. You can kind of see it in the map. And then you could go to the Hinterlands, and you would travel all the way through the Hinterlands, got to the coast, and then you went south to Reven Tusk Village. So it's a little easier now. You can just head from Arathi Hunt straight to the Hinterlands through this nice little tunnel that the, uh, I guess the dwarves built, looking at the architecture. Oh, nice, of course. There's another uh, fire here from the Horde. So that's another... Oh, look at that, 2600 experience. Yeah, I'll take it. Nice. And we're here in Reven Tusk Village, so let's get the flight path. And while we're at it, I want to make a selection of quests I want to do first time we log in. So I definitely want to do that because that gives me a necklace and I have no necklace yet. Those quests are pretty easy. Um, I think I want to do most of this quest, these quests here actually. Probably the quests at uh, Jinthal are too because they're really good. Okay, let's uh, repost some of the stuff in the auction house. And uh, that'll be the end of the episode I think. Alright guys, and that's going to do it for episode 5 of Lone Wolf Leveling. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Hamster Wheel, and have a good one.